Well, so far, we've seen a show about dumb superheroes and dumb animals. What's next? Well, no word of a lie, a very serious kind of show, and honestly, quite a dark one at least. This is number 23. This is Jekyll and Hyde. Back in 2015, English television network ITV decided to run a show called Jekyll and Hyde. Not about the famous doctor who drinks a potion with the hopes of an all evil inside man, but instead creating a violent alter ego, Mr. Hyde. No, this show takes place in the future, which follows the story of his grandson, Robert Hyde. It sounds pretty basic and generic, but actually it was a brilliant show. Only problem I got one season. The show tends to follow a Monster of the Week formula, kind of like Doctor Who was a new villain every episode. You see strange, surreal, supernatural monsters, some even from hell. Imagine that. You would assume that Mr. Hyde would be the villain of the series, but actually he's kind of sort of the hero. Well, an anti-hero. Of course, Dr. Jekyll, much like his grandfather, wants to stop Mr. Hyde and find a cure to this mess. He also realises that Mr. Hyde is very powerful and can be useful in stopping these supernatural monsters but at the cost of his own humanity. While the episodes and storylines are very good in the show, the real best part of the show is Tom Bateman as Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. To the best of my knowledge, he's not really starred in that much, and he's still quite a young actor, only 28 if I imagine, but in the show he is brilliant, as the very friendly and kind Dr. Jekyll, but also the evil and sadistic Mr. Hyde. It's actually hard to tell it's the same actor. A fantastic, beautiful performance of him. Vampires aren't my problem, Bulstrode. We need your help. If there was any other way, neither of us would be standing here. In a couple of seconds, one of us isn't going to be. Like most good TV shows, it got better and better as it went on. The monsters are more dangerous, the acting got better. The whole show just felt like it was getting better and better, bigger and bigger, leading up to our fallen season finale. Only problem, it died after one season. Yes, despite fairly solid reviews and overall praise in the press, the show fortunately was canned after one season. Figures the first drama ITV actually makes that I enjoy, compared to shit like that, and they kill after one season. Sadly, it's been nearly two years since the show was canned, and I doubt whether I'll see it again. But what we got was a fantastic first season. You know the ending, the source stops and there's no real conclusion. What we got was a very enjoyable show, even if we know we're not going to get an end of the show. Watching Tom Bateman's performance is more than worth the ride. Where it may only got 10 episodes, what we got were 10 very good episodes. The really sad thing about the show is that season 2 was already planned. The creator of the show, Charlie Higson, revealed on Twitter that he had tons of stories planned and basically the entire season planned out. The only problem, those fuckers at ITV decided to cancel the show after one season. So, we may never get the show. It's always sad when a really good show doesn't get its chance to shine. Even though I've only got one season, it deserves so much more. And I think I know why it was cancelled. This show, to the best of my knowledge, used to air at 6pm. If you actually watch the show, it's probably not suited for children. But they had to put a warning before most of the episodes saying the content in the show is not suitable for young kids. And I think that's why the show was cancelled. It scared too many people and caused a lot of parents to complain about their children having nightmares and stuff. But despite all that, we did get one season of a great show. Who knows, even though it lacks an ending, I would still recommend checking this out. There are worse shows you could watch. 